Houston, we have a problem. Matt Griffin, the 2017 Aquascape Businessman of the Year. All right, so you're gonna be taking us all over Houston today, seeing Absolutely. some of your beautiful work that you've been doing for 19 mm -hmm. years. Don't charge your customers who do buy for all the customers who don't. This is a well-oiled machine. I love this. And now we're going to go actually see your new operation yes. that you're building. Beautiful. Last time we were here, it was just a slab. It was. Wow. That's amazing. Houston, we have a problem. Matt Griffin, Great the man, stuff. the myth, the legend, the 2017 Aquascape Businessman of the Year. And we're at your first stop of the day, right? Absolutely. We met him out here. Yep. Let's check this out. Out here looking at beautiful Aquascape ponds. Oh my gosh, look at that statue. Wow. Look at the kitchen window. Right outside the kitchen window, she looks over at this. Look at this, it just changes this entire space. I love the view from the window. The kitchen yeah. window, she looks out, that's just gotta love it. When the plants fill in, it's always loaded with potato vine along the edges. And so what was the story behind this project? Was it a rehab? Yeah, so nothing worked that was in the old pond. We took it all apart. Was it a concrete pond, liner no, pond? it was a liner pond. Okay. It was just poorly done. So we reset the skimmers, new pumps, new lights, basically everything new. Put it all back together, and yep. fish cave. And they're happy? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. All right, so you're going to be taking us all over Houston today, seeing Absolutely. some of your beautiful work that you've been doing for how many years now? 19. 19 mm -hmm. years. All 19 right. Years. Well, I can't wait to do this. This is going to be a lot of fun. So we got a rainy day out here, but uh, boy, has it been fun so far. Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of great features. So how did you get your start? Uh, in high school, I went to work for a mom and pop landscape company. He had a customer that said, I want to build a pond and I want to put it right behind the house. I want to put it right here. And he told them he could do it, but he had no idea what he was doing. Immediately after the meeting was over, came back and told me that I needed to design a koi pond. And I looked at him like, I don't know anything about it. So I did a little research. Then two weeks later, we put it in. From there, I was kind of more or less hooked on landscape end of things. I love designing and building things. I opened my own company when I uh, got tired of doing things for other companies. While you were in college studying landscape yeah. design, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At what, Texas Tech? Yeah, you know, evolved from there. Opened Prime Lawn and really started out, you know, trying to get into the business. And first, you got to do whatever you can. So you did, you did lawn maintenance, mm -hmm. Prime Lawn. And then from there, gotten a little bit bigger into the landscape and then the hardscape and then the ponds. The whole idea was every landscape job I wanted to put a water feature on. Right. And how'd you first discover Aquascape? I saw one of your magazines that was uh, of your backyard when you first built it. I read that and I thought, wow, this guy is crazy. He took his whole backyard and turned it into a pond. So some things you're right on. <laughs> and <laughs> then in 99, I had the opportunity to put pretty large koi pond in and I ordered the kit online mm -hmm. or on uh, through the mail I guess and, mm -hmm. and uh, put it all together and put it in and I was like wow this that was super easy didn't have to go to the store for hardly anything and mm -hmm. uh, from there I was pretty much hooked on it and ever since then I've been buying aquascape. What advice would you give to a guy that's wanting to break into the water feature business in 2018? First you got to go to the aquascape hands-on academy. I would have killed for that 10 mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Not just that, start small. Don't don't think you're gonna go out and put these huge, massive features in. Mm -hmm. Start with small features, work your way up, get some confidence, train your crews. The small features make really good 
profit. Yep. And you start you start building a, a maintenance rapport with that customer. So then you can come back and clean it once a year, and you can put in landscape and mulch for them or whatever else they need. And then they say, you know what? I think I want something bigger. And they want a, a pond less. And then they want a pond. And the next thing you know, you put three features on their property in ten years. All right, so we're gonna go see your mother-in-law that I love. Let's go see Carol. Right over here to the left. You are so welcome. We appreciate the call. Take care. Hello. Hi. You don't have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a mother-in-law like this. <laughs> Does he pay you? Whatever but he's yeah, paying you, yeah. I'll double it. You know, I, he, he has doubled it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the action happens behind the scenes. So That's explain it. me how the office works besides Carol running everything. Maybe I should ask so, Carol to explain So we start really. out with Carol. She yeah. answers the phones. She, she gets the client's information. She walks them through the process of how we would do the work, what our schedule looks like, things like that. Tuesdays, Thursdays, I'm on consultations and appointments mm -hmm. all day, Tuesdays, Thursdays. It's my days out of the office. Yes. Mondays, we start new projects typically, so I'm out on projects. Uh, Fridays is walkthrough days, so completion of projects. We do walkthrough, we give them a binder with all the information in it, whether it be lighting or aquascape or pumps or whatever it is, mm -hmm. explain to them how to use it, how to work it, what their maintenance is. So Wednesdays are really typically my full lockdown day in the office. Yes. So, Why do you have a paid consultation when you go out there? So you go on Tuesdays and Thursdays and the people pay you to be there. Why is that? Why do you do that as a professional? Valuable information. They can take it and use it how they want. Whether they use the information is up to them. If you're going to go to a site visit, right. you, there's a consultation fee. If they go ahead and hire you from that site visit, right. then there is no fee. Yeah, there's no fee. We, we actually will credit them that consultation fee yeah. back to the project. Don't charge your customers who do buy for all the customers who don't. Makes sense. Okay, so what's all this? So, here. so these are our schedule boards. So each crew is color coded most of the time. That gives us the ability to plug and play. So if we get finished with a project early, we can pull another project and put it on a different day. Beautiful. And they know, they can look at the board and mentally they know, hey, I'm super busy. I got to get my work done. And they question if they don't have a, like there's nothing there, they would question that. Right. They would question, well, hey, why don't I have work for that day? It's a visual reminder. Right. How many years now for you in the business? 19. 19 years and 19 teammates, right? Yep. This is a well-oiled machine. I love this. And now we're going to go actually see your operation, that your, your new operation yes. that you're building. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fantastic. Let's okay. go see that. So this is one of the things that you implemented after coming to the Oxyp Academy was using Vistaprint, right? Correct. So you print up your own brochures, all of the photographs that come from there, and then all of the pricing that you just customize in here Correct. so that people in Houston know what it is for all the different fountainscapes to install. Mm -hmm. Super fast, easy, very cost effective. And then you send these to customers and it gives them a perspective and mm -hmm. it really eliminates tire kickers and gives a perspective for people that want to understand it. If they want one of these in their yard, they'll know exactly how much it would cost for mm -hmm. you to put it in. Yeah. This is the dream, right Matt? Worked really hard to get to this point we've got the building up a lot of the concrete poured it's now at least operational for our crews to be able to come in, at, in and out and get material i uh, see it right there yeah beautiful last time we were here was just a slab it was just a slab with a bunch of steel sitting on top of it wow that looks beautiful This will be, you know, customer parking. This will all be water features. All of the small bubbling features. These will be glass windows here. This will be a bay door, glass bay door. So when it's nice like it is today, open it up, have the air from the Where will the retail This space? will be retail right here. About what's the footprint here? This is all retail. Fish retailing systems. Fish will be outside. Okay. And then everything on this half of the building is all offices and break area space. All the bay doors will be drive-throughs. So the crews will come in on one side, 
and unload for the day and exit on the other side. My guys would salvate. Any contractor would salvate about this. So this Absolutely. has been a long time you've been thinking about right. this. Yeah. This is the 2017 Aquascape Businessman of the Year. I jokingly say he's got the life of Job <laughs> with everything that has happened to him. And if you want to really see why he became the Businessman of the Year, check out this link. This is his actual, Matt's actual story. But this is an amazing, amazing success story. The fact that you have not given up and the fact that this is coming together. Like, when will this be all finished? better be finished by January. So by the end of this year, right? this is an example of perseverance. Why I love doing my job is seeing guys like this that are living their dream, overcoming every single day a new challenge. What was your saying about the road? If there's a bump in the road, you don't stop for the bump, you keep going. That's the life of an entrepreneur right there. That's the mindset of an entrepreneur right there. All business is, is fixing problems. And like you said, sometimes I just want to give up and then I think, if I didn't have any problems to fix, that would be the definition of hell. Congratulations. Thank you. This has been a fantastic day spent traveling with you. I can't wait to come back here and see this, and I have no doubt that you will have more hurdles to overcome because you're breathing and you're living, yeah. but you're going to do it. And uh, I could not be prouder of you as a businessman, as a customer, than, um, than I am. Thank you, Greg. You don't have to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs>